Hello there, and this is Reyes doing a Let's Play of Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut. This is my first Let's Play, and hopefully I'll be doing more afterwards if this goes well. So, let's get started, shall we? Main gist of the story, we're going into a mansion, and we have to kill zombies and dogs. So, um... Let's see how I fare upon this survival horror here. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team. Who disappeared during the middle of our mission? Bizarre murder. As you'd have heard, um, Alpha Team is going on a mission to find Bravo Team, who have apparently crashed or sent out a distress call, and they've crashed next to the Spencer mansion. Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Ferocious looking teeth right there. And a startled face from Joseph. Joseph! As you can tell, the voice acting isn't really that good either. But that's why we all love Resident Evil 1. Well, that and the story. <laughs> Stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. The cast. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers Albert Wesker Resident Evil I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. So, we've arrived in this mansion, which at the moment looks reasonably safe. 
But, as we all know, looks can be deceiving. So, here I stand, in a big, long dining hall, with a very creepy grandfather clock ticking away in the background there. Nothing like setting the atmosphere. Off through the wooden squeak. Oh, it didn't squeak. Oh. And your very first encounter with a zombie. I tell you, in my childhood, this was classed as scary. So, off I run. Back through the door. Because I'm shit scared of that zombie, so. And with nothing to defend myself apart from this poxy little knife here, um, there's no way I'm taking it on. So up I come, back through the dining hall, and into the main hall. Lo and behold, Wesker and Jill are now missing. Oh, what a kerfuffle this has Wesker? turned out to be. Jill? What happened to Jill and Wesker? I don't know. What did happen to Jill and Wesker? So, pick up Jill's gun on the floor here. But for some reason with Chris it seems to be a bit stronger. I don't know why. Ah, the laws of games. Alrighty then. If I take it safe and equip my gun, or Jill's gun rather, let's run back down here. Gonna get myself a bit of our uh, extra ammo here. Past the creepy clock, and through the door with the zombie. Oh shit, it's still there. Never mind. That zombie's supposed to be up the hallway. What's going on? This is not right. Oh, there's no blood on the floor. That, that's different. Didn't realise that on Chris last time. Okay, where are you this time then? Ah, he's still there. Alright, I guess I have to kill you. There we go. Right then, Kenneth should have some ammo if I'm correct. Here we are. That'll do me just... Oh, he's got two sets of ammo. That'll do me just nicely. Nothing like coming prepared, is there, Kenneth? I'm not going to bother collecting any of the maps. I don't think they're really necessary. As long as you can map out the mansion in your head, you should be fine. Oh, actually, let's um, hopefully get some extra ammo again. Um, let's give it a shot here. I think I'll get attacked by maybe some crows on the way though. Which kinda sucks. Ooh, a small key. I know what I'm using that for. So let's pick up uh this is Forrest. Let's pick up his ammo. Yeah, Forrest went to seek refuge on a balcony and got attacked by crows. So, um, as you can tell, he did not have a very kind death. But all in the name of saving our lives. So 
So off through to the top of the dining room now. Uh, okay, take out one zombie on the side. And then the other you don't really have to worry about. Okay, if I go around this way, and then I can lure that zombie down and around, so I have free space to push the the uh, statue. Especially with Chris, you need to conserve your ammo. So, let's do a quick reload. You never know when I might need those extra two bullets, especially on Resident Evil. Sometimes you could find yourself being safe. Then, just one reload could fuck you up instantly. Here's army, 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 army. Follow the butchman. Come on, follow the butchman. And now I run round to push down the statue. Should have plenty of time now. There we go. And that drops a blue gem. I shall be collecting that later. Not just yet, though. Off into a sickly green room. Oh my god, there's three zombies. And I shot the wall. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, reload. And the other one's on its way. There he is. And he's dead. So, off I go around here, down these stairs, very slowly I must admit, and then this is the place where you avoid all zombies because they're not really needed. Well, you don't need to kill them, obviously they're not needed. Oh! Pepper spray! from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. The field I'm medic. Newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. But it's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. And I shall end it there, folks, for my first ever Let's Play. Thank you for watching and please subscribe or like the video if you wish to enjoy more of my Let's Plays. I've been Reyes and you've been great. I'll see you next time.